Good day to Dr. Kamarudin and those who are watching this video. My name is Jai Shrebeka. I am from Tesla B1 and uh, this class is called Philosophy of Education in Malaysia. I've been given the task to present to you about theories and curriculum construction models and this is the video. Firstly, we are going to cover four different things. Firstly, is the objective model Tyler and Taba. Secondly, is process model Stenhouse. Thirdly, is principles of Islamic and Eastern curriculum. And lastly, I will give you a hot question to uh, think about. Now, let's go on to objective model Tyler and Taba. Firstly, we are going to talk about curriculum model Tyler 1949. Tyler 1949 st states that curriculum is all of the learning that is directed planned, managed, and implemented by the school to achieve the specified educational goals. In this curriculum model, four basic curric uh, curriculum questions are asked. Firstly is what are the educational goals that need to be achieved? Secondly is how is the learning experience to achieve the objects? Thirdly is how are learning experience structured for effective teaching? And lastly, how can the effectiveness of the learning experience be assessed? This curriculum model impacts a lot of people, especially teachers and students. So what are the impacts? For teachers, teachers turn into scientists. They, are, they become scientific observers. This is because they need to create hypotheses that are closely related to the desired learning outcomes of students. They have to figure out uh, what, is the, what does the learning uh, experience that the students need. Secondly, students are not involved in any planning or implementation. Uh, prior to this, if uh, um, students are usually involved in the planning and very much involved in the curriculum, but now students act as students only. Let's move on to curriculum model Taba, 1962. Taba 1962 states that the objective of his model is so that his model acts as a platform for school activities during the planning of curriculum. There are seven different steps involved in the TABA curriculum model. Firstly, is to first diagnose the importance of learning. Secondly, is to form behavioral objectives. Thirdly, is to select appropriate learning materials. Fourthly, is to compile those learning materials. Fifth, is to choose a learning experience. Six, is to organize learning experience, the, the learning experience. And lastly, is to determine the learning materials to be assessed and ways to assess those materials. Now, let's move on to Curriculum Model Stenhouse 1975. This model is a model that forms a specification of the curriculum and the educational process that does not begin with out objective outcomes but emphasizes the principles of procedure for the selection of curriculum content and its justification. This model, model focuses on seven different things. Firstly, is teachers, activities and roles pupil and student activities, thirdly is learning condition or learning environment, fourthly is students provide a unique response to the learning experience, fifth is to focus on the way or method and not the end results, meaning to say the process of it, sixth is to students have a role in making decisions about learning activities, they are not just given a static option but instead they get to choose which one, which learning activities they prefer. And lastly, have more individual circumstances. In any model, in anything, there are pros and cons. For this model, the pros is emphasizes the active roles of teachers and students and also the learning skills. But the cons of it is ignoring appropriate content considerations. Now, we are going to go on to principles of Islamic and Eastern curriculum. The curriculum principles will assist teachers and schools in their practice as well as form the basis of review. Now there are seven curriculum principles that I'll be talking to you today. Firstly is challenges and fun. Pupils should experience challenging and simulating learning situations as well as learning that can uh, engage and motivate them. Instead of students coming to class, sitting down and listening to teachers, students have to engage with the teachers and teachers also have to engage with the students making sure they are not bored but instead they will be learning by by making activities and doing challenges and making the learning condition and environment fun 
Secondly, with people, sh people should be given the opportunity to gain experiences that are appropriate for them. So by doing all these activities, people get to learn new things, learn new skills and also at the same time gain experience. Thirdly is progress. People should experience continuous progress within the same curriculum throughout their learnings in school. So instead of being in a static position in their progress, students have to, have to continue to grow and mature and learn new things. And fourthly is that the curriculum provided should provide opportunities for the development of full capacity for different types of thinking and learning for children. Next is choices. The curriculum provided should meet individual needs and support children's aptitudes and talents. So, like I mentioned before, students have to be given a chance to make a decision, a chance to show the world their talents because each of them have their own individual talents. Sext um, sixth is coherent. Children and their learning activities need to be combined to form a coherent experience. And lastly, it's relevant. Children need to understand the purpose of the activities they go through. Not just having all fun, but children have to understand what, what is the reason of these activities. And teachers have to link their activities, their learning activities, to the learning topic. Now, for the hot questions. Now, out of the three models, which is Curriculum Model Tyler, Curriculum Model Taba, and Modern Stathouse, Pick a model and explain the contents using the I think lab. Thank you everyone for listening. If you have any questions, do let me know. Thank you once again.